Hello guys and welcome to the channel. This is the final video I'm filming at my sister's. Next video I film I will be at home and I will be shaved. So I've got my razor at home. So as soon as I get home, I will give myself a shave. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Today I'm having, Elise, is it a papri paprika soup? I'm having a beef paprika soup that consists of paprika, beef, um, potatoes, onions. onions, and what else? Beef stock. Beef stock. Look at oh, thank you. You're welcome. I'll take that home with me. Mm -hmm. Forget about that. I was going to say that's the one. All right. I've got a little memento to take home with me. So I'll be putting that in my bag. It's what I made for you, didn't Yes. It's what Elena made for me. Yeah, I've got some crusty bread as well. So basically, Dini, when you, every time you look at the locker, just imagine I'm saying love you because it's what I made the love up for. Okay. Let me cuddle. Mm. Love you. Love you too. Sleep night. Sleep well. You too. Right. I've got some crusty bread here as well for my soup. It's, you know, it's been... I've had this soup before. It has been years since I've had this. Uh, it is nice, it's really, really nice. So I can't wait to have it again. Mm. It's nice, it has a very meaty flavor to the water because I think it has uh, beef stock in the water as well. as well as chunks of meat. Let's... There we go, there's some meat chunks in there. Literally dissolves in your mouth, it's brilliant. Right, let's dip my bread in my soup. Mm. Pardon? Should I tell you how I made the love part? How? Because I taped these together. Oh. And you've had the That was Absolutely love crusty bread. The only thing I hate about it is it only stays that beautiful crunchy crispiness for the first day. It starts to get the stale feel to it very quickly. Yeah, I was speaking to a friend of mine. <laughs> this is if you've got kids. Let me know if you have a child or a friend of your child that wants to invite themselves around to dinner all the time. Um, you know, whether they uh, come around to see your friend and then when, when you try to tell them, okay, we're about to have dinner now, so you're gonna to need to go and then they're like, oh, I haven't had dinner yet, what are you having? And 
<laughs> invite Sam to tell us around for dinner like that. Let me know, and if you guys who have had that from one of your children's friends, funny enough, I had the opposite. I I was at a friend's house and I was just about to leave and their mum was like oh we're, we're about to uh, we're about to have some, some dinner would you like some? and I was like yeah okay now I, I was invited I had no intention I was literally about to go I got invited and then this woman my friend's mum, who invited me round, turned round to my mum a few days later saying that they didn't have enough dinner uh, because they had to feed me as well. Um, yeah, because they had to feed me, they didn't have enough food to go around. And I'm like, what? I, I was young, so I didn't know at the time, you know, but yeah, I was like, I had no intention of staying for for your for, for for your dinner, you know. Like I was I was on my way out after being upstairs in my friend's room. You know, it was you who invited me to stay for dinner, and then she turned around to my mum and said that there weren't enough food for everyone because she had to feed me as well. Like, excuse me. And I, I, I totally forgot all about it until I was speaking to a friend of mine. And she was saying about, we're not gonna mention who this friend is, but yeah, this friend of mine who has kids was talking about there is a kid that lives nearby who is always trying to invite herself around for dinner and stuff. which made me think of my incident I had when I was younger. Let me know in the comment section below whether you've ever had that in your household. I, I'm, I'm drained today, absolutely drained. I turned around <clears throat> yeah, uh, I, I turned around to my mum and said, like, when you're coming back from Holland, bring some snacks so I can film with all the kids. What a mistake that was. Oh, that was, att was attempted to be filmed. Today, impossible. Absolutely impossible. I <laughs> had five kids. And yeah, I don't know how much of it I'm going to show you, if any of it. Um, but yeah, the, the, the look on my face throughout the video just says it all. Oh. But yeah, I'm going home. Going home today. I've got a delivery coming tomorrow from Okado. I've never ordered from Okado before. I thought it was um, Okado used to have all the supermarkets up and then basically when you get all your groceries, whichever works out cheaper, you, they order from that supermarket for you. I didn't even know that they have a thing from a warehouse and they have exclusive items 
or they have items from one store like that right now they're selling items from Marks and Spencers I've ordered some posh dogs some hot dog buns I don't know if you guys have ever seen it or had it before but Marks and Spencers do uh, a big square pizza <coughs> I've ordered that I've ordered a 1.5 kilogram lasagna from Marks and Spencers you know and it, it makes me laugh because people say about how how um, expensive it is not always I mean the I've got two litre bottles of Florida Orange, Diet Florida Orange, which I think is like £1.5p a bottle. I've got the pizza, the big square pizza, which is probably about the same size as this table, um, £3. The one5 kilogram lasagna is £7. Um, certain items are expensive. I mean, I've got, it's either six or three. I can't see because of the packet it's covering. But there's uh, croquetas. Um, from Spain and they, oh, they look so good. Uh, a, a Spanish ham, cheese and bechamel sauce as well. And I'm like, oh my God, that sounds so good. But they are fairly expensive. They're like £5.50. Oh man, but yeah, just a heads up, if I, if I seem different in this video, that's because trying to film snacks from Holland was a disaster and it drained me. It is Tuesday. Tuesday? It is Thursday, the 9th of June. Um, I don't think I'm going to be filming again until July. Um, or I might film a couple videos. But yeah, oh, I'm going to take a break. Enjoy my time at home, going swimming every day. Oh. You guys, you guys won't see this until the end of June anyway. So there will be a video after this, don't worry, on a scheduled day.
Right, that is a short one. I'm just so tired. Thank you ever so much for watching. Um, I will see you in the next video.